In this episode of 5 Minute Film School, we dive into depth of field. Welcome to 5 Minute Film School, the show that teaches you to be a better filmmaker in 5 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Michael Booth, and today we're talking about depth of field, an important concept to many photographers and cinematographers alike. Depth of field refers to the range between the closest element in focus and the farthest element in focus. A large depth of field is called deep focus, and a small depth of field is called shallow focus. The edges of this range fall off gradually, so the range in the diagram represents the scene elements that are acceptably sharp. Depth of field contributes greatly to the overall look of a film, and many cinematographers will make technical decisions based on achieving a particular depth. Some filmmakers pride themselves on a deep focus look where everything is in focus, and others prefer the more intimate feel of a shallow depth of field. Getting a particular depth of field in your shot requires a balance of three key factors. Aperture, focal length, and focus distance. Aperture refers to the size of the lens opening or the f-stop. A small opening produced by a large f-stop will produce the deepest or largest depth of field. And a large opening produced by a small f-stop will produce the shallowest depth of field. Indoor shots will often have a shallow depth since they require a larger aperture for more light. Outdoor shots will often have more depth of field since the aperture can be closed for proper exposure. Focal length refers to the magnification or zoom of the lens. Zooming in will reduce the depth of field in the shot. Zooming out will increase the depth of field. Some objects that were not in focus when zoomed in will now be in focus. Focus distance refers to the distance between the subject and the camera. When the subject is close to the camera, the focus range is very shallow. When the object is at a distance, the focus range is much greater. In summary, to increase your depth of field or make more of your frame in focus, you can close the aperture by choosing a higher f-stop, zoom out to a wider shot, or move the camera back from the subject. To decrease depth of field or use a more selective focus, you can open the aperture by selecting a lower f-stop, zoom into your subject, or move the camera closer to your subject. So that's it for this week. I hope you learned something about depth of field and achieving a particular look for your films. If you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I release a new video every single Monday. Please share this video on your favorite social media sites and if you're on Twitter, you can follow 5 Minute Film School so you never miss an episode. As always, if you want to learn how to make compelling films, you are in the right place. 5 Minute Film School. Give us 5 minutes and we'll make you a better filmmaker.